welcome to the first annual Lone Star Chef competition. Uh, my name is Sarah Bentram and I'm the chef here at Castleberry ISD. The Lone Star Chef competition is a cooking competition held yearly through the school district that Air Airmark partners with. Students will compete locally in this competition and then whoever wins this local competition will move on to a regional competition where they'll compete with other districts. The top three teams will win a scholarship presented by Crane Food Service Solutions. Students must come up with a recipe following the same guidelines that we must follow for the K-12 menu served each day. This consists of using whole grains, low sodium, and low fat ingredients. Each team will be scored based on appearance, taste, degree of difficulty, and use of secret ingredient. This year, Wendy Ivey's class has five teams participating in this event. They are as follows. Chop it like it's hot, the three amigas, jalapeno business, the Spice Girls, and the Blazing Buddies. Uh, they have a small pantry of ingredients, as you can see here, and they'll also have three mystery ingredients, which we'll soon reveal to them. Each team will need to use two of the three mystery ingredients in their dish, and that will be one of the things that they are judged on. A big welcome to our judges, Norma Gonzalez, Tim Braun, Bill Siebold, and Kenneth Cazares. And then our three mystery ingredients. Tomatillos. Ancho chili peppers. And poblano peppers. All right, on your mark, get set. So what's your team name? Um, our team name is Chop It Like It's Hot. Um, it's me and my best friend Tabitha Salas. Okay. Um, what got you interested in cooking? Um, I really just like savory food. Like I'm not really like a dessert person, but like I like savory foods and the steaks, the chicken, yeah, all that yeah, like barbecue. the juicy stuff. Yeah. Um, today I'll be preparing a dish that uh, is called fajita tacos, fajita and on tacos. the side we won't put anything into the tacos at all. Be okay. on side, like on on okay. the side of the plate. So. On the, uh, the salsa, the, uh, the middle salsa, what was in that? Um, there was um, some the, cayenne pepper. It has a lot of flavor. So what's your team name? Uh, Three Amigas. Three Amigas. Yeah. Um, it's me and Rachel Ramirez and Perla Armendariz. What got y'all interested in cooking? Um, I've just always been interested in cooking, like, it just, I love food, so, you know, who doesn't? Everyone loves food. Yeah. Um, what, what will you be preparing for us today? Tostadas. Tostadas, I love a good tostada. Yeah. What's on top of the guacamole? Uh, it's, uh, chili powder. Well, I want to tell you this, I am not a big fan of guacamole or avocado, but this is really good. You actually are changing my palate, like maybe I can start eating more avocado in my meals, but it's, it's actually really good, and I liked um, how it's very smooth and creamy, and so yeah, it's very good. I agree with Ken, the avocado is really, really good, and I love the presentation. I'm just amazed how flavorful you can get uh, a ground beef like that. Oh, thank you so much. My team name is Jalapeno Business. Jalapeno Business, that's a funny play on words. Yeah. Who are the team members of this group? It's just me and my friend, Daniela. Oh, okay. What got you interested in cooking? Um, I like food, so like I, it's like nice to know what goes behind it. Um, we're making fajitas. Salsa is good. 
Yeah, the, tom <coughs> the, the tomatillos are really good in the salsa. It's got a lot of flavor with the cilantro. It's good. I like how you incorporated the little uh, the avocado uh, pieces in the salsa. That's really good. Did you blister the tomatillos? Oh, okay. But I did see y'all cooking something, right? Mm, yes. So what was that? I mean, you cooked the tomato and the jalapeno, right? Yes, yeah, so we were originally going to boil them, but right. then we improvised, and Christina's mom, she actually does them like that. Mm -hmm. So at first we were doing it how my mom does it, and then kind of switched it. <laughs> we're the Spice Girls. Um, it will be me, um, my best friend, Alicia, and Arlene. Okay, what got you interested in cooking? Um, it was really my grandmother at a young age. So what are you gonna be making us today then? Uh, we'll be making a quesadilla supreme with a homemade salsa. Oh, what goes in a quesadilla supreme? Um, we put a little bit of bell peppers, some chicken cheese, and some of the other stuff that we can't really say. I do like the plating, it looks good. It's, it's very visually appealing. So what did you season the chicken with? We added some garlic, salt and pepper, and a little bit of that pepper. Okay. Just to give it an extra spice, only because you know with Mexican food, usually you're more likely to get a kick out of it than it just being really mellow. Well, there's a little, lot of flavor in that little package. So. I agree, it's very flavorful. Um, whose idea was to come up with quesadillas instead of um, another presentation. Uh, it was really, we were like talking about, you know, doing a taco maybe, but then everyone's like, oh, I'll do a taco. And I was like, I don't want to be like everyone else. <laughs> so we thought about maybe putting it more together and letting y'all choose on what you'd like to eat with it. So that's why we have the avocado and stuff on the side too. We're here with Patrick Garcia from the Blazing Buddies. Who are y'all's team members? It is me and my good friend Adrian. Um, what got you interested in cooking? Actually, just food itself just being so good. What? Today I'll be preparing a chicken burrito, an assortment of vegetables. What kind of peppers did you use? The two dry ones. Well, I'm just gonna say, I like big food. And so when I saw the, the, the size of the burrito, I was like, yeah, that's good. <laughs> and I liked how you mix the lettuce with the cilantro as well. Kind of gives it a little bit more texture and, and something a little different than just overpowering cilantro. for the results and we're just gonna say the three teams uh, the top three teams and we actually had a tie for second place um, between jalapeno business and the Spice Girls and our first place team who will go to regionals to compete in the crane scholarship is the three amigas <laughs> Disaster, but we won. But it was super chaotic. A lot of things didn't go as planned. Yeah, it was really fun, and I want to. I appreciate all my teammates, and everybody did a really good job, and especially Miss Ivy, because Miss Ivy's amazing. Mm -hmm. And none of this would be possible without her or my mom, because you know I learned a lot of cooking from her. But uh, and shout out to Castleberry for having a really good culinary program, and just you know the, the people in this class. Uh, it's it's just a really it's like it's. A small amount of us, but it's just we all get along and it's, it's really it nice. Work. Yeah, it's fun. Catch yeah, it, it was a fun experience. <laughs> My favorite part was 
mainly just cooking with my best friend. Like, I wouldn't have that connection with like anybody else in the classroom because, I mean, she's my best friend. Uh, for me, I mean, it was more relaxed than I thought it would be. Like, I know like almost everyone was freaking out, but I kept a cool head and everything. So, it was fine for me. I like, loved it. Very fun. I think it went great considering the first time we practiced, it was so chaotic and I think we did a, a good job. I was really calm. I mean, I, I had a positive attitude and everything. It all went by fast to me, so. I think you're probably the one who kept us mostly calm. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they did really good. I think so. I mean, we've been planning for a long, long time. They put it all together, and then today, the judges just had really awesome things to say. And um, I'm just really proud of each and every one of them.